Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is, yes, of course, a smoky eye tutorial using the Urban Decay Smoky Palette. I just got this a few weeks ago and um, it's pretty much been like attached to my hands when I'm packing. I'm like, okay, I just need this and some brushes and some black liner and some good lashes, good to go. So um, just with the uh, variety of colors that there are in this thing, it is quite handy and it does actually in fact give you um, some pretty good smoky eye options. So the one that I have here is like a little bit of a blue toned smoky eye. So if you'd like to see how to get this look in like a, a few easy steps, like 30, um, then keep watching. Also, I'm fading my hair out right now and uh, basically I wash it with hot water and clarifying shampoo to rinse the color out. So that's why it looks lighter. And uh, what should I do next with my hair guys? Um, let me know in the description box, in the description box, I mean, let me know in the comment box below. As you can see, I already have my foundation on and if you'd like to check out my foundation routine, please check it in the link below in the description box. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna be using my Brow Beater in Taupe by Urban Decay. I'm in love with this thing. It's small and it's perfect for doing precision brows. And pressing lighter towards the front of the brow to keep it more natural looking and faded. Using my Plur eyeshadow primer, I'm going to put this all over my entire lid. And yes, those are hairs in the primer. They're from my brush, don't worry about it. And I'm just using the brush that came in my Urban Decay Naked palette. Taking 13 right here from the Urban Decay Smoky palette and a fluffy brush, I'm going to set the primer all over my lid. It rubs 13 on the skin or it gets the hose. Using that same fluffy brush and going in with Combust from the same palette, I am going to start the transition for the eyeshadow that we're gonna put on my lid and in the crease. You wanna really make sure this one is blended out and that you pull it up high enough so that it works as a pretty good transition shade for all the other colors. Taking a condensed fluffy brush, I'm gonna go in with Password. I'm gonna apply this right in the crease, but still allowing some room for another darker shade in the crease crease, if that makes sense. Using my Sigma tapered blending brush, I'm just going to blend that into the first transition shade that we put on there. Using my Bdellium Tools brush in 781, I'm going to apply dagger in my crease, in my crease crease, and pull it all the way in. And that's okay if this goes on the eyelid because I'm gonna put a darker color there. Going back to the blending brush, I am going to blend this out. Using my Infinite Shadow Stick in Blackout by NYX, I'm going to apply this all over my lid just to give the last color a little bit of depth. So you're just going to uh, draw this all over your mobile eyelid. Taking this little flat brush from my Urban Decay Electric Palette, I'm gonna go in with Black Market and apply this all over the lid. You wanna get a lot of this on there. Tap it off and apply this right over top in a tapping motion, don't wipe. Now I'm putting this over the edge of the shadow stick that we just used up here first because I really wanna blend that line out. Taking my Furless Pro, what is this? I just forgot it in like two seconds. My Pro 6M brush, pretty much anything that will help you get into this inner corner here is gonna work perfectly. And I'm going in with Slanted right here. It's from the same palette. I'm going to be applying this right in the inner corner. 
And taking a little bit of a more, I'm just gonna add that right in the very corner for a little bit of shine. That didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do, so I'm gonna go in with high right here and add it to the exact same spot. That's better. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going in with NYX's Sunrise Blue to basically work into my lower lash line. Oh, fuck. I just drew all over my favorite shirt ever with this Using this little small dome brush by NYX, I'm going to go in with Dagger and apply that over top of this liner. And I'm just gonna smoke this out a bit. This is gonna give like, cover up the really vibrant blue a little bit, but still, you'll still be able to see it in the lash line there. Taking the original fluffy brush that we put the color all over the lid with, I'm going to really make sure this is buffed out. Now using NYX's Badunkadunk Mascara, I'm going to coat my top and bottom lashes. I got these new lashes from Violet Voss. They're pretty like fluffy and amazing looking, so I'm gonna go ahead and use these. Taking my NYX Matte Bronzer and my NYX O2 brush, I'm going to Warm up my cheekbones a little bit. And a little on my forehead. A little on my jawline. And to take that contour even further, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Taupe Blush. And this is a Furless MF3 brush, which is Awesome for contouring. For blush, I'm gonna use NYX's Baked Blush in Ignite. This kinda has like a nice iridescence to it. I hate these lashes so much. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. They're just itching my eyes like crazy. Ugh! I actually, like, I really hate these eyelashes. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. These, I've, I've been struggling with them for the past like 20 minutes. Um, the band is too thick. This is like, just in case you were wondering, I'm not sure who makes a lash edge go out like that or if maybe it's a mistake, but it's doing that like into my eye right here. Um, I really hate these lashes and just so you know which ones they are and you don't waste your money They're called I do um, They look beautiful, but I really hate these lashes and now my eyes are all red. So Let's find some new lashes and if you know me pretty well, you know what I'm about to do next and That's go in with my three times a charm highlighter, which is my favorite and my Pro 7e brush by furless and I'm gonna be using this shade right here I'm gonna put this right on top of my cheekbone Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, I feel so much more comfortable now with my super cheap lashes. Um, those other lashes uh, are terrible. I really hate them. I can't stand those other lashes because the band is really just way too thick. I really hate when it's so thick that it's like not malleable at all and you can't like bend it. So basically it means it's not gonna bend with your eye. It's basically however that's shaped is like how your eye is gonna be shaped for the whole night. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my nose as well. And my Cupid's bow. Going in with Stark Naked from the new Matte Revolution series, series? Uh, collection by Urban Decay. I'm going to put this on my lips. That was so awkward, sorry guys. And I'm gonna line my lips with the corresponding lip liner. Here's the finished look guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me and not miss anything. 
I also have a new vlog channel. Um, I will also link that in the description box below so you can check that out. And all the products that I used are also linked for you in the description box below, which took me like 72 hours. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out with me, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. It's always a fly in my, in my shit. I'm trying to like just get some camera time.